Okay, now we're going to measure a cylinder using the ZCAT and ControlCAT software. Um, basically, what we do with a cylinder is we're, we're going to we're going to measure two circles and then we'll create a cylinder. So I'm going to go back to the A menu and uh, hit diameter and off of the plane. So we've already measured um, this plane earlier. So I'm going to highlight the diameter and plane and hit enter and it'll ask the offset of the plane. So in this case, I'm going to go uh, maybe just one millimeter above the plane. And I'll hit done. And again, I'll give it a go to right here. And I have to take a minimum of three points, but I'm going to take four and give it another go to and then finish. And I'll put that diameter right here. And then I'll take another diameter off the same plane. But in this case, the offset, I'll make like six millimeters above the plane and hit done. And again, this time I'll give it a go to here, measure four points, and I'll ask go to, and I'll finish it, and I'll, so those are diameters four and diameter five. I'll go back to cylinder, and I'll highlight four, and I'll highlight five, and I'll hit enter. Cylinder will now be flashing, and I'll put it on my screen, so now, Cylinder number one is actually diameter four and diameter five together. So if I wanted to run that, it will now run doing both diameters. In this case, number four, one millimeter above the plane. Number two, the next diameter, which is, I think I said five millimeters above the plane. At the end, the cylinder will be flashing and I can bring up the results and there is the diameter of the cylinder, the length of the cylinder, um, and all the dimensions that I wanted. Um, I could then erase both of those diameters off of my screen because I don't need them anymore. I can always move items around my screen so I'll move that cylinder over to that location and I'm finished. I'll save the program or the session as it is, and that's how we do a cylinder.